Hello, it's Crafty Carol here with an idea for the Tech for Stampers Funfold month, which is July <laughs> this year. So this looks a bit odd, but these are all the pieces I'm going to do. I'm making a double Z fold card. So let's go through the pieces you need. You need, first of all, the base piece, which is 11 inches by 4 inches or 28 by 10. Thank you, Gus. We don't need your input. Uh, and we're going to score that in a minute, but just give me a second. This piece is a strip 11 inches again by 1 and 1 8 inch wide. And then we need various bits of DSP. There are some to go on the strip. And these pieces, the first one is, oh, sorry, it's three by 28 for centimetres for that one. Um, for the strips, for the DSP strips here, uh, these are uh, five and three eighths by one inch. The strips are all one inch wide, so five and three eighths and two at two and five eighths. That's two and a half centimetres deep by 13.5 centimetres and two, um, two and a half centimetres deep by six and a half centimetres. I have no idea what the dog is doing behind me. I think he's rolling on the floor for some unknown reason. <laughs> but ignore him, he'll stop in a minute. <laughs> And then we need various pieces for the back. We need one piece, uh, the large panel, which is 13.5 by 10, or in inches, that is 5 and 3 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. And then two smaller panels, which are um, 2 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths, or 6.5 by 10. So I think that's all the bits I need to tell you about. Let's get on with making the card. So I'm going to start off, I'm going to use my scoreboard. I'm going to give you this in inches. Um, uh, I'll give you the cent, I'm going to mark it in inches because I've got the scoreboard out in inches, but I'll, I'll tell you the centimetres. So for this piece, which is the 11 by four, we're going to score on the 11 inch side and we're going to score at two and three quarters there and at five and a half, which is here, which is obviously halfway. So that is in centimetres, that is um, 14 centimetres and seven centimetres. Okay, the strip, we're going to score in exactly, oh, don't need that on top of it. <laughs> we're going to score it in exactly the same way. So two and a half and five, sorry, two and three quarters, got that wrong bad and five and a half uh yeah so that's bad because i've got that wrong one i'll try and just smooth it out a little bit won't matter because i am going to stick some dsp on it as long as i'm careful to fold it in the right way so both of those strips we are scoring at um two and two and three quarters and five and a half or seven and fourteen centimeters right so the rest of this will be about putting it together. Now that's strange, you say, because they're all folded in the same way. So we're going to fold these as Z folds. So we're going to fold the first card as if we're folding it in half. So we fold it in half, make sure it's lining up properly and give it a really good, I haven't lost my bone folder, no. Uh, give it a really good press, there we go. And then the middle fold that we've just done, we're going to fold back on itself. That's why we call it a Z fold, because it looks a bit like a Z, yeah? And we're going to do exactly the same with this. We're going to fold it in half. So we've got the strip, I'll try and make sure it's absolutely even, there we go. So we fold it in half and then we fold the one bit back. Now I'm gonna to have to be careful, I fold it at the right crease because I made a mistake with that um, scoring. I can't get it apart now, there we go. So it's that fold I want. So we're going to fold that back. And that again, you can see it's a Z. Now, if you put that together, oh, that's not right. Very simply, we're going to turn it round. So we turn it like that, and there we have our double Z fold card. Really simple. So we're going to just put it all together now. Uh, that way, be good. Hide my hide my mistake a bit more. <laughs> so. These bits, oh, the, the paper, I should have said, the paper I've used is from the Regency Park um, one that matches the stamp set I've used as well, which I'll explain in a minute. So I'm going to stick all of these pieces on. I shall rush through this bit of um, 
bit of a video because you don't need to see me gluing down pieces. So um, we'll just, with the magic of editing, we'll be able to move on very quickly. So I'm going to stick my pieces on like that. The Regency part, this paper that I've used, I'm using Balm Blue as the base. Um, and this paper um, has got obviously two sides that match. So I'm going to stick mine on like that. These pieces I'm going to stick just direct on like that because I'm putting some decoration on top. So I'll do that and be back with you in a minute. Right, so that's all my pieces stuck on and now it's about putting it together. Now, my advice is that before we go any further, put on a panel for somewhere for somebody to write. I personally prefer to put my panel in here and I don't know if you can see, but I've just very faintly used some of the stamps from the Sentimental Park set just to provide a bit of a background in stamped off balmy blue. So I'm going to put my panel on there, which means people can more or less write on it important to be careful where we put this we need to really room for people to be able to write okay so that i'm going to stick in just here and i've also made um, a sentiment for the front and i've actually again i've used the happy birthday and the flowers from that sentimental park stamp set um, stamped off the flowers and i've split the stamp happy birthday i've stamped um one word and then the other word to uh, get it in the center there and that is going to go on the front again i want this to be above where the um z bit is so i'm going to stick the base down which is just a stylish shaped circle cut in balmy blue and stick that there and then i'm going to stick the actual um piece with the sentiment on with dimensionals so we'll just put a few of those in. Totally up to you what you put on here. You could put a different shape on here. Just needs to fit uh, nicely around the bar for the double Z fold. So that is my happy birthday. Try and get it in the middle without getting my head in the way of the camera. That's difficult. There we go. <laughs> so there's my card put together. This is how it works. So now we have to stick this on and the key with this is be really careful where you're going to put the glue because we only want to stick it on that piece and on this piece here. So there's quite a clever way to work out how to do that. If you fold your Z cart piece up and turn it over, that is the bit that you need to put the glue on. In fact, that and that bit are, but I'm only going to glue one piece at a time so that I can show you how we put the rest of it together. So that's the bit that I want to stick across the front. And I'm going to line that up carefully, making sure it's parallel with the bottom and stuck onto the front there. There we go. Now, if I put glue on the other side of this piece, You can see why I left it for now, because I don't want to get this wrong. And then I can hold that closed against its other piece, fold the card over and stick it down. And then we know it's stuck in the right place and the card will stay flat for posting. And there we have our double Z fold card. So I'm going to finish this just by making a few flowers from the new um, flowers die set whose name I can't remember, but it'll be below in this blog <laughs> and I'll write it on the description. Um, so hopefully that gives you some ideas for a really simple fun fold card, which stands up really easily, folds nicely, fits in our normal sized envelope. Never forget to stamp your envelope, folks. OK, so I've finished decorating the card and um, I, I thought I'd like I'd just show you what I've done there and just mark, mark one or two things that you need to think about when you're doing it. I've actually used some of the flowers from the lovely new dye set of all the flowers. I've just mixed a lot of the pe petals together from the different um, ones you can cut out um, and added them in here. Now, importantly, I need these ones here, any on the inside of the card. You can't put gems in the centre, but the, the ones on the long front panel, you can because those will be um, on the front of the card. So just a little note, those that's how I finish my card off. And the beauty of it is it lies flat, so you can actually write your greeting uh, if you want to write something in the card. You use a little bit of it down here, but <laughs> can't have everything. <laughs> um, but hopefully that's a card that um, a lot of people would love to have. So there's my double Z fold card. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this card and um, I hope you'll, in, you'll watch out for my future videos. All the measurements are on the blog with a few more instructions. Uh, do sign up for my emails so that you always get uh, 
notification when I put my blog posts out. That's on my website, craftycarolscards.co.uk. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.